Hey y'all, it's Taryn. It is Monday, October 15th. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's the last day of tax season. Thank you. Uh, welcome. I hope y'all have had a good couple of weeks. Again. Um, I tried yesterday to record this. Um, I know I deleted like 12 or 13 attempts. Yesterday, I was so tired. So tired I couldn't think. I'm more tired than that today. Um, but today I think I've moved into just like punch drunk or something. I don't know. When I get to the office, I will see if Dax even has been to sleep. I told him to sleep some. So, we'll see. It's been, um, this past weekend was pretty rough. Uh, we spent it all at the office, I mean, but Friday was, um, everybody take their frustrations out on Terran Day. Which wasn't good. Um, somebody was mad at me on Friday and on Saturday he came back in to uh, tell me in person basically how mad he was. Um, it's not my fault if you owe taxes. <laughs> it really isn't. But anyway, Friday after 5 o'clock um, it was either start drinking um, or eat ice cream. There's too much work to be done to start drinking. So I went and bought ice cream and ate myself silly. And it was good, y'all. It was good. So let's see. Around here. Um, Dax's hand is still on the mend. It's getting better and better. Um, after about a week while he had finished his antibiotic, um, it started looking uh, kind of black and some spots under the skin. So we went back to the doctor and he gave him a fourth antibiotic that would kill any kind of staph. Yeah, staph that the first three antibiotics may have missed. And so he's taken that one, and everything's looking much, much better now. It's still got some healing to do, but at least I, at least I feel like this time really it, it, it's been a few days, so maybe, you know, nothing's bubbling back up. So maybe we've really got everything right now. So anyway, that's all good. Um, last weekend, not this one that just finished the weekend before that. I got up on Saturday morning and my coffee pot quit working. I went in, got it ready, turned it on, nothing happened. I just want y'all to take a minute and let that sink in. My coffee pot quit working. Thank goodness there was a Keurig to step in and save the day. I use the regular coffee pot because I drink like three or four cups of coffee every morning. But we have a Keurig still. I used to use the Keurig all the time, but um, three or four cups of coffee a day, that gets kind of expensive. So that's what Dax uses. He only drinks one cup and he drinks decaf. I would drink like triple calf if they sold that. So, anyway, that wasn't a great start to the day. And then, I know I've told y'all before that we have a dog that I think has doggy dementia. He's showing the signs. He goes to the bathroom in the house almost every night. That's usually what I get up in the mornings to clean that up. That's, you know, hey, Taryn, glad you're awake. Look what I did. 
So, uh, I don't turn on all the lights when I get up. I turn in the under the cabinet lights, you know. Um, so there's just enough light for me to see to make my coffee. And I didn't see where he had gone to the bathroom in the house. I thought, oh, happy day, you know. Um, I only get one or two days a week that he doesn't go. And I was sweeping the floor and I stepped in it barefoot. My coffee pot broke and I step in dog poop. I mean, I told Dax that the mere fact that I just don't totally lose it and go off is a testament that I love the Lord. Oh my gosh. And then Thursday? No, it was Friday. It was part of um, my very bad, terrible day on Friday. The email account that I have had, it's, it's one that I use like when I sign up for bill pay online, um, any of that stuff. I try not, it's, it's one where I don't get a lot of junk mail or anything like that. I have others where if they're going to sell your email address or whatever that I use, um, they deleted it. I got the email address. The company's been bought out a couple of times, and the newest company, which is Spectrum, like cable, phone, all of that stuff, without warning, they purged their system of old accounts, and it's gone. I know I called in to try to go, because our business account is with Spectrum, and so I called to go. Can't you link it to this, you know? They transferred me at least five times. Maybe more. I think I talked to every department in the business. And I had to keep telling myself, be nice, be nice. All of these people are at the end of the line. None of them did it. None of them. They just work there. It wasn't their bright idea. But... It's gone. It is never to be seen again. Y'all, I had cross-stitch patterns where you buy one and you download. They're gone. They're, and some of them are probably years old that I don't know if I can go get again. So, I was not a happy camper. And then... And then pile on top of that the uh, unhappy people. Friday. Oh, oh, it was a rough day. But I tried to be nice. So, anyway, all of that. I did um, do some stuff. Some. I guess we'll start here. My linen and threads. We'll see it overall. Oh, hey. This is another one of Kirsten's designs. You can get them on Redbubble. I'll link her in the description. Look up close. I know y'all are looking at my boobs right now. Um, where she has the Zentangles and stuff. So... Anyway, there's still time to get it by Halloween, too. They ship usually within a day or two. So, anyway, linen and threads. Here's the whole thing. And, ooh, here's how much I got done, y'all. Right here. See that? That's it. I dropped down and started on December. Because October and November are done. Might as well get December going, right? Um, I didn't even manage to get in a whole length of thread because I'm that kind of awesome. <clears throat> I really, really, really want to get this one. Sorry. 
I've got to get some work done on that. I don't want October to end without me finishing off at least another one of those bands. If I could finish October and November both, that would be awesome. But tax season may be over, but I have now sales tax. Actually, tax season isn't over yet. It's not over until midnight tonight, but I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. But I have sales tax clients that have to be filed by the 20th and um, other stuff. Quarterly payroll that has to be done by the end of the month. So I still have a lot of other stuff going. Um, anyway. Okay, I worked on this one. Um, Cottage Quilts. And it's by the Creative Circle. After this many videos, you'd think I could get it. Um, and you know, I've been saying all along that this, I thought, was um, in the current catalog. And one of my subscribers said that she had worked for the company and it really didn't occur to me then. But I'm thinking that this stuff came through like uh, the, the parties in your house, you know, kind of like home interiors or Tupperware, that maybe that's where these came from. Honestly, I don't know. <clears throat> so, this is what I got going on. This was the one I have said I would do, I would give it an hour every week. I have not done that. I've given it about an hour over the last two weeks. I really do want to get it caught up. I worked on the geese again. I finished this goose and some of the grass and stuff around him. And as you can see, I've gone in and started back stitching, which is why you can see his head and neck and everything. It was driving me crazy to have put this much work in on them and not being able to see them because they're white on white. So I've started back stitching them. Now I'm trying to decide do I want to come up here and do the back stitching up here all around the tree and just go ahead and back stitch as I go across or if I'm going to just do the geese and then move on. I haven't really decided, but I can tell you this. It is not keeping me awake at night. Because really, it doesn't matter which I decide. And I worked about a half a minute. I'm sorry, y'all. I am having a hot flash. Um, whew, there is a front blowing in. Um, it actually was blowing in, I was going to say last night, it was blowing in earlier this morning when I got home. Um, it was about 15 degrees cooler at home than it was when I left the office 25 miles away. Um, but the wind's been blowing like crazy. Look, now my hair's all sticking out everywhere. It's still blowing a lot out there, and it's really cold out there. It's cool, but... I'm about to burst into flames, but hey, that would go viral. <clears throat> anyway, I worked for about a half a minute on Every Bird Welcome. This is our uh, It's Not a Race Stitch Along. If you think it's a really cute pattern, which it is an adorable pattern. It's by Imaginating. Um, I have another one, too. By, done by imaginating um, Diane Arth Arthur's God, words. Um, you have you have time to order it and do it uh, if you want to follow us on Instagram. The hashtag is it's not a race S A L. You got plenty of time if you want to join because it's not a race as you can plainly see. I got. <laughs> These three little, little leaves put in, and I don't know, what, a third of that flower? 
moving right along. Anyway, it is much cuter in person with the, uh, always it's cuter than, it's not all dark like that, but I love it. I think it's adorable. You know how I love my welcomes. So, I really just want to get out here and sit and stitch and, you know, not talk to anyone in the world for a while. It's not likely to happen. Oh, I have to tell y'all, the other night, I don't know, it's probably midnight or so, Dax and I are, we'd just gotten home and sitting there in bed watching TV to kind of, you know, come down from the day and everything. And the cat, one of the cats, jumps in the bed and she's got something in her mouth, which when they want to play, they bring stuff all the time. And she walks to the middle of the bed and she drops what she has in her mouth. Yeah, it's a freaking scorpion. And it's still alive that she drops in the middle of our bed. Are you kidding me? We were exhausted, but we could still move. <laughs> you should have seen us getting out of that bed. Oh my God. It's ridiculous. Out of... Uh, out of this celebrations to cross stitch and craft and it's from autumn of 1992 i may have been saying august all this time but i read it it actually does say autumn you know this little witch that i've been working on she's so cute <clears throat> and she is so done hallelujah I was getting so close, and one of the nights that Dax slept at the office, I uh, I stayed up until like 1 o'clock in the morning um, working on her, because I so close, and I didn't, I was too tired, I couldn't get it finished that night. It took me about another 30 minutes the next morning um, to get her done, but look at that look. And that ghost is adorable. So, look at those feet. She is sporting some feet. So, I was thrilled. I was so happy to get her done. I am so happy. So, I don't think that's going to get me out of the hole, though, for Stitch from Stash. I didn't know it was supposed to be raining with this front, but it is, and I can hear the thunder too. Oh, happy day. So, that was awesome, but like I said, I don't think it's going to get me out of uh, my stitch from stash negative because I ordered a pattern from Frosted Pumpkin. Thank goodness I printed it out before they deleted my email. I can't show you though because it's the I didn't print out the cover page, just the pattern. Um, but I couldn't resist. I had to buy the witch. Better have my candy. So I already have it kitted up in my little pumpkin bag, ready to go. I guess it's a jack o' lantern bag. I don't think it's going to be done by Halloween, but that's okay. That which isn't going to be FFO'd by then either, I'm pretty sure. But it was too cute. I had to have it. And it's already kitted up because almost all of the threads for it, I think with the exception of two, came right out of the witch bag that I... bag. Well, the project bag. Actually, I guess I left them in there because that's the same bag I was using. Um they were the same as the witch, so I didn't have to find new ones. And because it was been on my mind, I haven't done anything on it, but I pulled this one out. This was a Mania Start from 
sometime. And I think The Witch was a mania start that I've actually finished, but like from 16, I think. But I pulled this one out because it's been on my mind to work on. This is how far I've been on it. I didn't work on it just for Mania. I've worked on it two or three times, I think. As you can see, I'm right here. And the pumpkins. So. And that's not all my fabrics folded over, so. It's a long, narrow piece. So, anyway. And see. Welcome. This is the other pad pattern by Diane Arthurs uh, from Imaginating Ink. So it'll be nice if I can get some work done on that. That'll be cute. Um, oh, Faye, if you see this, I haven't sent your pattern yet. I know. I'm sorry. I told you I was going to last week, and I lied, obviously. But I'm going to try this week, after today, maybe my life will get back to some kind of normal, which isn't really all that normal, but... It's at least closer. That's what every year we keep going. When are we going to have a normal tax season? And after 14 years of this, we're finally starting to realize there's no such thing. There isn't a normal tax season. They all have their issues. I finished this. Do you think diamond painting goes into my Stitch from Stash budget? Now we can't do that because I bought them too, so it would be a it would it would be probably less than a wash a wash. Of course, like everything, um, doesn't look as good up close, but I like it from back here. That's not bad. <clears throat> but I don't know where to put stuff. I started this one then. Hello, fall. I haven't gotten very much done, obviously. Sorry. That that corner is all that I've really gotten done. Um, I like it. The colors, I like the way they stand out against the black. And there are some others, like if I have leftover, you know, colors that our fill in here and there and everywhere, but I think it's pretty cute. I think that's everything that I've actually, you know, worked on and done stuff. I got the fabric that I had ordered from Fat Quarter Shop. And, you know, before I was trying to think, oh, do they call this a cupcake? Uh, you know, because I know they call some things a cupcake and... It's a charm pack. Yeah, because I'm an idiot. Um, here's the colors. Mostly it's reds, kind of muted reds, or this kind of a dusty blue kind of color. And it's by Moda. It's called Victoria by Three Sisters. But this was the one that was $1.49. You have to buy that. You have to. And since I was buying that, um, and shipping was the same either way, this was the um, pattern that I bought. It's by Lori Holt. It was a, um, it's one of her quilt blocks that they turned into a cross stitch pattern. Um, it says, it's so Emma. It's so Emma.com, S-E-W. I don't know if that's who. Well, it's copyrighted by the Fat Quarter Shop, so I don't know what all this stuff on the back means. But it's from It's So Emma Stitchery by Lori Holt. Whatever. I don't know. I thought it was cute. I've tried to buy it before, and my uh, cart wouldn't check out. I don't know what the issue was then. I guess it was that I needed to wait and buy it with the fabric. I, 
guess it's not a bad issue to have. And I got off of Listia, I got this Precious Moments, Carolyn Pat, I think. Gloria, Gloria and Pat. I thought they were cute. Whether I put the words in or not, there are some cute little pictures. Look at that little cat. So, like I said, got that off Listia. Let's see if I ever do anything with it. Okay, y'all, I think that's it. Um, ooh. That's big thunder. Like I felt the window, the windows. I heard the windows move. Um. Okay. I guess I get to go drive in now. And it's still dark. I had driving in the rain and the dark and on. I don't know. I fell asleep. I was gonna say last night, but it wasn't. Um, it's like one o'clock this morning when I got home from work. Our TV has a timer that if there's no activity for four hours, the TV cuts off. Um, and Dax is usually watching TV at night when I fall asleep. So when he's not here, I leave the TV on while I fall asleep and it'll shut off itself. <laughs> it was still on this morning. Um, that's how long I didn't get to sleep today. So, we're going to go and try to be nice to people. It's going to be a crazy day. People come in and out, and there's still tax returns we're trying to get done. Um, one of which is ours. <laughs> but, you know, the shoemaker's kids wear no shoes. Okay, I think that is everything that I've done. And if not, y'all won't know it anyway, right? I want to thank everyone for your comments. Really, there are days where they're just so uplifting and nice and and it is so appreciated. There's no really way to to tell you thank you and and let you know how much I actually mean it. I do appreciate it. I really, really do. Let's see. Um, thank you for the likes, um, the subscriptions. If you've watched this far, thank you. I'm sure that I'm a rambling fool today. But, you know, I didn't want y'all to have to do without me for another week. Anyway, I got to get up and get moving or I'm going to fall asleep again. I appreciate you. I absolutely, truly do. And I appreciate those of you who make videos watching you. Um, it's funny because... When I'm trying to catch up on a video and I'm watching somebody every chance I get um, several days in a row, a week, every day during the week or something like that, when I get caught up, then I'm like, well, because I get used to you being there and then you're not and that's a problem. It's like, where'd you go? You've become part of my routine. So, anyway, I appreciate all of you that make videos. Thank you again. I hope y'all have a wonderful, wonderful week. Maybe, maybe I'll be able to actually get back and record next week instead of it being two weeks again. Um, Dax and Wyatt have uh, their guard stuff this weekend. And I think they have it. I think they have to be there on Friday and they won't be home until Sunday night. Um, they're working the air show in Houston, so 
I think that's how it goes. I really don't know. I think the air shows Saturday and Sunday, but their favorite thing to do is uh, to have to work the flight line because then they get to go and watch it all happen right there. But anyway, sometimes they have to work the parking lot, so that's no fun either. Regardless, I should be able to maybe get some stitching done, maybe get a video done. We'll see. Thank you, everyone. Y'all have a great week, and we will see you here next time.